Hello everyone, welcome back to another session of Flow Builder series. Starting with this video, I'm going to create a practice set on lightning flows. So I would be picking around 15 to 20 scenarios and on each and every scenario, I'm going to create a separate video so that you can practice your Flow Builder use cases uh, in order to become more efficient when you're actually implementing any uh, sort of requirement and you're trying to use the lightning flows. All right, so I'm starting with this particular scenario of record cloning. So I will um, uh, start and quickly explain you what the use case is and we'll go ahead and start implementing this, okay? So this is my account and you can already see a clone button here, but I would be creating another action button here, all right? And once I click on that clone button, that button will actually ask me if I'm sure that I want to clone this account or not, right? And the moment I click on next, it should be asking me uh, the account name, right? Because the cloned account that I would be creating, I don't want to keep the same name, right? I want to identify the cloned account, that particular account was cloned from some other account, right? So I would be creating another screen wherein I would provide the text for account name, all right? And also account name is required, right? Because you cannot create an account without the name. All right, so that is the step one. And step number two is that you have to cho choose which fields you want to clone, right? Maybe like, you know, there is a scenario where uh, you have to clone the record, but you don't have to clone each and every field, right? Maybe let's say in the, in my scenario, let's say I only want to clone, let's say phone number or uh, for example, total opportunity amount or let's say annual revenue, okay? So whatever fields that you actually want to clone, you have to keep that in mind because when you will be, uh, cloning the record, in short, creating the record from this one, the clone record in your flow, you have to map those fields, the one you actually want to map to your clone record. All right. So let's just go ahead and get started with the flow. So I'm here and give me a second. New flow. And I am going to create a screen flow because I would be creating an action button on the account record page, right? And when I click on that action button, I want my screen flow to launch. All right, so create. Let's switch to free form. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a screen, okay? Just name anything for the screen property. And here I am adding that display text, okay, that I was mentioning about. So in the display text, I would just say use of confirmation. All right. So here, are you sure you want to clone this account? Okay. And you can just style it a little bit if you want, or you can just keep it. Uh, okay. And done. All right. So this is my first screen, right? So when I have created, when I when I'll be creating an action button on the account record page, and when I click on that action button, this is the first screen that will be popping up for the user, right? Asking them whether they are sure that they want to clone that account record or not. All right. Now uh, the next step is to get the account record, right? Because you have to clone uh, the account record. Let's say I'm on this account record and I want to clone this account record. So I need the information from this account, right? So, and how do I get the information? I would be getting the information once I fetch this account in my flow, right? So I have to get this account record in my flow using the record ID so that I will be able to use all its information when I'm cloning this particular record, right? So I would be needing the record ID. So now if you guys remember how to get the record ID, from the current page URL address. If you remember, we have in, in my previous video, we used to create a variable and giving the API name as record ID, right? So the first thing that we have to do is we have to get the record ID of the current page account, all right? So let's just go ahead and do that. So here I'm going to create a resource and you can call it as a variable, select it as a variable and here, you have to name it as record ID, okay? If you name it something else, you will not get the record ID. To get the current page record ID, this is how you have to name the variable, all right? And the data type would be text, all right? Available for input and then done, all right? So I have my record ID. Now I have to get the records, right? I have to get the account record. Now use this component, get record, and here get 
account record okay and here object is account condition so here i want i want to fetch the account id which is actually equals to the record id that i have created a resource for right so here id i'll explain you don't worry so record id so when this is like a query right this is like a sql query that you actually make to the salesforce database right so now when this query this get records will try to query an account from the database it will ask you right that which account details do you actually want to fetch so i want to fetch the account details of the account where the record id is equals to this record id right because this is the variable the resource that i have created which is actually holding the record id from any current page where the user is on right user might be on this account and let's say if user is on some other account let's say this one then i want to get this record id right so this record this is the dynamic record id that will be holding the record id from any account that you are actually on to right and that is the account detail that i want to fetch from the database right so that is why i am making sure that the id is equals to the record id all right and only the first record this is fine and let's just click on done okay so now <clears throat> i have the first screen asking the user whether they are sure uh, if they want to clone the record and then after that i am fetching all the account details using the record id wherever whichever account the user is on to all right and once i have that what 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 do i have to do now cloning is nothing but creating the record right so now but i have a scenario in between when i am cloning any account record i don't want to keep the account name same as the record right same as the account record which i am on to i want to provide a different name okay and let's say i also want to provide a different phone number or let's say a fax any information that you actually want to override when you are cloning the account record for that you have to create another screen all right so let's just go ahead and create another screen so here uh, you need to give the screen property and then here i am going to give the account name there is nothing else that i am overriding but let's say if you want to like you know change the address if you are cloning the record then you have to use the address data type here and likewise any field that you actually want to override before cloning the record you can include those here so that user can manually provide those information and then proceed all right so here i am only giving the account name All right and then click on done okay so i got the message confirmation from user i fetched all the account details of the respective account and i've created another screen to override the account name now i will go ahead and create the cloned record okay for that you have to use this create record component so create cloned account all right and then uh, this and object is account okay and the field um account name right so account name is which so do you from where you have to map the account name so there are two places now right the first place is that you have queried the account data right get get records using the get records element but we don't have to map the account name with the get account element right otherwise what will happen the same account name is going to get copied over to the cloned account right but rather i want to uh, map the value in the account name from the screen component because right because in the second screen component i have created a text field for account name right so that is the name field that i have to select here okay <clears throat> so see under screen components account name this is the text field that i have created now let's say i want to also map phone so account phone and account phone i have to get it from the result that i have like you no know, queried in the get get records using the get records element right and this is the get records element that i have so here <clears throat> and then phone so account phone and let's say i also want to map annual revenue annual revenue and here this and annual revenue and that's it okay i don't want to map each and everything if you want you can actually map other like you know other fields for example ownership account number whatever you want to map you can map but right now we are only mapping three fields and then click on done okay so uh, that's it let me just save this go on 
ground record. So before we go ahead and check this out in the org, let's just let's just try to debug it and then see if it's happening, if it's working or not. So I am going to take this account record ID and I'll show you how to debug. So here we'll click on debug. And it will ask me the record ID. Okay. So see, this is the first screen. Are you sure you want to clone this account? So I am confirming next, then it should ask me the account, num account name, right? To which I want to clone. So clone account, United Oil and Gas, this one, okay? <clears throat> and then if I click on next, it should clone the record, okay? So it did clone the record. So if you see the record, this is the new, record ID that it has created for the cloned account. So let me just copy this, go ahead and search for this account. <clears throat> Here, you can see that, that, that the it actually cloned and you can also see the other uh, fields that I mapped, right? I had mapped phone number and annual revenue. So you can see the phone number. Here, it actually copied from the other account. I can also show you that. And also it should have also mapped the annual revenue if there was an annual revenue, I believe there was one. So this was the main account, right? From where we actually cloned the other one. So here, this was the phone number and this is perfectly fine. And if I go and check out the annual revenue, where it is, here it is, right? So it has also cloned the annual revenue here. And then, um, what else? The name, because the name we have given, uh, we had given a screen, right? To override the account name, right? So that is why it has picked the name that we gave on the screen, right? So this is how it works. Now, let's say I want to create an action button and I want to launch the flow from that action button. All right. So let me just go ahead to the object manager and create an action button. Account and... Uh, new action so hold on i need to activate that flow so this was the flow right and let me activate this i've activated the name is clone account record okay so here i would have to refresh this i believe Clone account record, and then here, uh, account. let me save this. And let me go ahead and include this on the page. Sorry, not here, but actually here and So the action that I've created was clone account. So add action, clone account, all right, and done. And I'm going to drag it to the top. And I'm going to remove this one. So, all right, let's just save this. Hmm. <clears throat> this is saved. Let's just go back to the page and check this out.
All right, so this is already a cloned account. Let me go to another one. So let's say ACC one. Okay, and let's just, there's a phone number and let me check if there's an annual revenue. Yeah, there is one. So clone account. Are you sure you want to clone this account? Next, then clone ACC one. All right, then next. And done, all right. So I will go to accounts and I need to find the account that is created with the name cloned hyphen ACC one, right? That's the name that I had given. So here it is. And if you go and check this out, it has copied over the phone number and it has given the name that I had given on the screen. And it has also copied over the annual revenue, all right? So this is how you can uh, clone a single record by using the action button, right? Um, so in the next scenario, I'll show you how you can, let's say if you have a requirement to clone all the account records that you have in the system, right? So for that kind of scenario, you have to fetch all the accounts, loop through all the accounts, right? And then keep that into a collection variable, and then you have to create the record, right? So I will cover that into the in the, in the next video. Uh, till then, keep practicing. Bye-bye.